unloading and starting the machine. When you arrive on site, park the vehicle and trailer on level ground. Always do a site assessment first. Look around for any conditions or obstructions that could hinder trenching or make operating the machine unsafe for anyone. If there is a source of sparks, flames, or unknown vapors nearby, do not operate. Once you complete your assessment, lower the trailer ramps and remove all chains or straps connecting the trencher to the D-rings on the trailer. Remove the front wheel lock pin. Lock the trencher's wheel hubs. Then turn both ignition switches on. Open the fuel shutoff valve. If starting the engine cold, close the choke. If restarting the engine warm, leave it open. Pull back the throttle about one-third. Pull the start cord and start it up. Once it's started, move the choke control to half. Wait for 30 to 60 seconds, then open it up all the way. For starting in cold weather conditions, consult your owner's manual. Once started, carefully drive the trencher backwards using the controls until the wheels are level on the ground moving and operating the machine. Once unloaded, raise the digging chain boom. Direct the trencher with the wheel direction control and engage the wheel drive. The wheel drive engage lever must be engaged and held to move the trencher. Adjust to a safe speed and navigate to the trenching location. If you're a novice trencher, drive at half speed. When driving, avoid inclines, drop-offs, and embankments. Never drive next to a current trench as it could collapse the bank, rolling the machine. A 20 degree incline is allowed, but if the machine is driven on a slope greater than 20 degrees, it will shut down automatically. Position the trencher to start the trench. Remember, the trencher is designed to dig in reverse. Once the trencher is positioned, turn the throttle up to maximum. Reverse the wheel drive control. Push the boom control right and up a notch, lowering the digging chain. As the chain touches the ground, tilt the machine backwards until the boom control snaps into the first position. Pull the trench chain control on to engage the dig chain. The chain will dig and level the machine. If you need to trench deeper, repeat this process until you are at your desired depth. When ready, pull the wheel drive engage lever to start trenching. The wheel drive control lever must be in reverse. If it isn't, the trencher will not trench. If the wheels have poor traction, the trencher may tilt back a bit when it starts to trench, pulling it toward the operator. If it does this, release the pressure and allow the trencher weight to plunge into the ground. When the trencher is level again, repeat the process. Never plunge faster than the trencher can remove material from the ground. Also, never overload the engine. If the engine lugs down or the digging chain slows, release the wheel drive control until the engine speed recovers, then continue trenching. After the job, after trenching is complete, move the trencher to level ground and park. Never park on a slope. Let the machine cool entirely before performing maintenance, cleaning, or touching the engine, hydraulic lines, or hydraulic fluid. To transport the trencher away from the job, park the trailer and the loading vehicle on level ground. Raise the boom on the trencher. Lower the ramps and line up the trencher with the rear of the trailer. Throttle the engine down and drive the trencher forward at half speed onto the trailer. Be careful of losing traction on the ramps and stay aware in case you lose control. Drive all the way until the front wheel is in the pocket. Reduce the throttle to idle. Turn off the ignition switch. Close the fuel shutoff valve. If you don't, fuel could leak into the cylinder and crankcase. Damage from this is not covered under warranty. Secure the trencher in the wheel pocket with a spring-loaded pin. Raise and lock the ramps. Lock down the rear of the trencher using safety tie-down chains. Once you return to the shop, complete all required cleaning, lubrication, and battery maintenance. For specifics on these tasks, consult your owner's manual. For more information, visit www.barettomfg.com or consult your owner's manual.